What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are on our way to Mannes Bilverkstad, translated Mannes Workshop in Sölvesborg to pick up a new front bumper for the new 9.3. Mannes Workshop is specialized in Saabs and mostly on the Saab 9.5 NGs. They have rebuilt a 9.5 NG sports wagon from right hand drive to left hand drive they do all sorts of exclusive styling to them they add hirsch kits they add a panoramic sunroof and so on and so on so it will be really amazing to see some of the work that they do down there and also see the cars We are here and we have met up with Philip, talked a little bit, really amazing guy, fun to meet and now we are ju just going to watch some cars. So now we are heading back home, got the bumper in the back and have seen some amazing cars and met some amazing people, really fun to meet them, super nice people and uh, it was really an experience to see all these 9.5s, they are truly some unicorns. So. So this is the aero front bumper that we picked up from Philip in really good condition, 
just need some new paint and it will be good to go but I'm not, as, not satisfied with that I'm going to modify this lower grill part and add some honeycomb net so it looks like a Hirsch type grill but I'm going to do my own thing with it as well and I think I'm going to add some carbon fiber to this lower piece here and I'm going to do some special about this around the fog lights as well to make it a little more exclusive I was looking for a Griffin front bumper from 2012 but it's not super easy to get hold of and uh, a lot of people has done the upgrade to the 2012 so it's a little more unique nowadays to upgrade to this so I'm gonna do my thing about this and we will see how that turns out and I have forgot to introduce it to the new car this is my new 2010 Saab 93 sedan it's a diesel it's my first diesel I have never owned a diesel car before so this doesn't have any rust on it barely nothing at all but the paint has a lot of scratches to it I don't know if you can see but from a distance it looks quite okay but if you get really close it's super super scratchy so with a little bit of compound it will look really nice so one of the first upgrades will be the aero front bumper which may will make a huge difference and this is a linear so it doesn't have any extra equipment at all it even has halogen lights and since it's a lens in there I'm going to upgrade it to xenon lights the interior is really basic nothing fancy at all but the stereo plays quite well and the AC works it has 150 horsepower so it even though it's just 150 it moves quite well so there's a little scratch here in the front seat so I'm add some leather color here just to make it looks to make it look a little bit more nice and maybe in the future switch out the interior for some better seats but for now it's quite okay let's have a look at the engine bay before I open I'm going to show you a picture of how it looks when I picked up the car And this is what it looks like now. So I have washed it off and cleaned off all the plastic details and everything. So it got really nice. For the rear I have ordered a Hirsch diffuser or Hirsch style diffuser so I'm going to build a twin pipe exhaust a 
cat back exhaust sort of with no mufflers and two really big end pipes that's gonna fill each gap on each side so that's going to be something and later on I maybe add an rear spoiler or something but to start with it's going to be facelift in the front the air front bumper it's gonna get the here's diffuser with twin pipe exhaust and then we will see what we're going to do next also we're going to get a really really thoroughly compound to get the paint in order so it shines the way it should and soon my vacation starts so I will continue and mount this vegan kit to the convertible it's washed off and put in the garage so I don't have to drive it anymore and reason for that is one the clutch has start to slip since it's a original clutch in this car and it has done 200,000 kilometers so it was in a real kind of bad condition before I got it and since I added the tune and everything it slips so I have bought some OEM stuff it's a vegan clutch and slave cylinder also OEM brand nothing else would do when it comes to the clutch don't cheap out on the slave cylinder because you you just wanted to change it once so there's a lot of stuff coming up and my vacation starts in a week so stay tuned to the channel and subscribe to don't miss any updates and I will see you very soon again